Hello everyone, welcome back to Chelsea Fan TV and welcome to Round the Corner. Chelsea host Crystal Palace as we return to Premier League action. Transfer deadline day is gone, it's wrapped up. Chelsea didn't complete the beautiful move for Victor Osimhen to Chelsea. We won't dwell on it too much, it is what it is. We do however have Jadon Sancho uh, coming to join us. Well, he has officially joined us, so another winger to add to the uh, long list there. But we have in fact uh, secured a loan move, a season loan, a season long loan move for Raheem Sterling to Arsenal. We will be paying half his wages, but yeah, Raheem Sterling is an Arsenal player uh, as of now, officially. So yes, we have had some changes. There's been loans uh, completed. Pretty much everything sort of rushed to the end in the like the last few days, particularly at the last week of the window. But it is time to return our attention to the Premier League. You know, ultimately in my opinion, the most important thing for us this year to be competitive again, secure our spot in the uh, top four, hopefully. But yeah, it is um, another long season. It is going to be tough. I think there's going to be more highs, at, well, more lows than people think again. Um, but that's just the reality of this process. But guys, before we get into the uh, Chelsea versus Crystal Palace game, I'm going to take this opportunity to tell you guys about our channel sponsors. FOCO, if you haven't heard it already, are a great site where you can find all things Chelsea and if you happen to support another club, sadly. Uh, there are also lots of different uh, clubs and merch and things they sell on there. Please do go have a look. They've got some really cool stuff, mugs, puzzles, uh, shirts, slippers, pyjamas, everything you can imagine things you can hang up in your room um, and some great deals on there and if you want to get your hands on something you can use our 15% discount by using the CFTV15 code or scanning the QR code as well make your life a little bit easier but yes guys it's an exciting time make sure you check the FOCO out and let's get straight into this video. Uh, it's an exciting time because it's hopefully an opportunity for Chelsea to make it two wins in a row in the Premier League, bounce back from defeat in Geneva, which left a bit of a sour taste in everyone's mouth. But again, it wasn't something I was surprised about. I predicted that we would concede um, at least one against Servette away. We conceded two and they almost did go uh, for that leveller on aggregate to take us into extra time. And it was a very nerve wracking 20 or so end, minutes to the end of the match. But thankfully we are through. That's what matters. We since then have had all the transfer news sagas and now we just need to kind of compose ourselves and really focus and concentrate on this game. Last season, we managed to beat Crystal Palace twice. I think two quite positive games. I think probably the away one stands out more because it was obviously a great uh, comeback to win 3-1. The sassy crowd surfing, everybody remembers the good vibes. Yeah, absolutely brilliant. Can we recreate that? But I think it's so important that we get our first win in the Premier League at Stamford Bridge because it needs to come sooner rather than later. Uh, just to really boost that atmosphere there, to really get um, the fans kind of behind the players. And I just think that that's really what we need. A boost of morale, a boost of um, energy and confidence for some of the players. It could call for potential starts for Jao Felix, perhaps Pedro Neto. Uh, it's interesting to see how you fit both of those players if they are to start. Some would say they occupy or they could occupy the same position, arguably, but... Yeah, it's interesting to see because Madueke has now slowly kind of proven that he deserves to have a regular starting spot in the lineup. Scored four goals in two games. Really not a bad start to his season at all. And obviously Cole Palmer is brilliant. But I think we saw against Wolves that Cole Palmer sort of playing in that 10 role alongside Feezing, providing good service to Anoni Madueke, to a Pedro Neto, to a Joao Felix could prove to be very, very crucial. So yeah, I think we'll see him in a bit more of a playmaker role. I would like to see us go a bit more attacking, um, offensive minded when we do play Crystal Palace. 
And I think we just need to capitalise on our chances because, yeah, Crystal Palace, I think um, in terms of what they showed towards the end of last season, a very kind of positive step. Obviously, they've uh, since lost um, the likes of Michael Lise, who proved to be really crucial. But that means that Michael Lise won't be scoring at Stamford Bridge regardless of what happens. That is one thing for sure. No Elise celebrations at Stamford Bridge. Um, so at least we can uh, kind of peacefully rest on that one. But yeah, I think, again, Crystal Palace will punish us if we make those defensive errors that we have shown. And we cannot continue this stat of conceding two goals a game. We absolutely cannot. Palace, I believe, are still looking for their first win this season, first points um, in the Premier League. So they will come out and um, give us a good go. I actually, I don't doubt that. Um, so yeah, I'm really, really hoping we can turn up for this one. Now, regarding our lineup, I think it's a very interesting um, decision here for Enzo Maresca because a lot of players have shown that they're working hard, particularly our new incomings are going to be eager to get out there on the training ground, prove that they... Uh, deserve start. I don't think Jalen Sancho is going to be anywhere near the squad. It's just too soon. It's uh, very fresh. I mean, he's had, what, a day um, of barely arriving at the club. So he definitely won't be featuring. But it's good to know that yeah, I've I've warmed up to it. But we'll talk about Sancho in a different um, video. We'll just focus on the game today. Um, but it'll be interesting to see regarding the uh, back line. That's, I think, one issue that's been quite scrutinised that has left us very um anxious i think about um playing uh against premier league opposition because you know it's all well um that a conference league side may not necessarily capitalize on your defensive errors even though they did but you just know in the premier league you will be punished if you let um opposition have the ball in those spaces just best believe they've got the quality to finish yeah you will concede that is just the um the ultimate takeaway from that so I don't really know in terms of how I don't even really know what our strongest back line is at the moment we've obviously loaned out um Trevor Chalabot <laughs> to Crystal Palace um and I think the fact that we chose to kind of move him on as opposed to maybe looking at Badia Shil or De Sassi, yeah it doesn't quite sit right with me I do think that he's been mistreated and yeah, it is just a bit sad. Everyone's kind of been talking about him since the Servette game. Like, you know, you look at our best defenders, Trevor Chalibur should be among them. But, you know, he's nowhere near the plans. So, um, yeah. Just a sip of uh, some lemon water there. But, yeah, look, I think that we should be okay. I do worry about our defence. But hopefully if we can go out there and score goals... I think until we sort our, our defence, I think that's going to be the one thing that we're going to be relying on. That weapon up front. Can we finish? Can we capitalise without another number nine, uh, you know, to kind of go with Jackson? Because I don't think Mark Gee is quite ready to play in the Premier League. I think he needs some more minutes. He needs some more time to build his confidence and his technique. But yeah, I probably would. Um, I probably would be starting Cucurella again in this game purely because Premier League, he's proved to be quite consistent now. And I think if you're looking at experience, it's probably much yeah, it's needed, isn't it? I think Tozin probably gets another start as well. I think probably Wesley Fafana, maybe you might change it because it's been, you know, Fafana and Colwell. You might look to change it. I don't think the Sassy starts in this game. I don't think Badia Shield starts in this game. Um, again, just because of the how the week's gone by. <clears throat> Excuse me. Just because of how the week's gone by. And I think, again, Tozin has proved to be a little bit better, I guess. Um... But yeah, it's a tricky one to call. You know, you have Malagusto again, quite another trustworthy option there at the back. So yeah, it'll be interesting to see. I think Enzo, obviously as a captain, starts in this game. I think Enzo Moresca's proved and has made it quite obvious that he does favour Enzo starting moving forward. So yeah, fair enough. Intrigued to see how that plays out. It will be interesting to see, obviously, because um, Lavia's not at the moment fit or able to start probably you look at and think Caicedo starts in this game which again is fair enough I think don't I don't think Dews Hall is going to be a Premier League starter anytime soon just an option off the bench potentially and a starter maybe in our other kind of yeah European domestic competitions so um yeah in terms of kind of Cole Palmer kind of playing at the 
you know, at the top of the kind of midfield, just sort of behind the attack, or just in that kind of attacking midfield row, I think he's going to be most effective because we saw it against Wolves. His services are great. He can score you goals, but he's equally a playmaker. And I think that, you know, when we saw Enzo kind of playing in that 10, our wingers were very isolated because he wasn't able to create or just be that playmaker as, you know, Cole Palmer or like an Nkunku even could be. Nkunku, I think, will be quite protected still. I think in terms of fitness and in terms of easing him back in, I think he is having a bit of a slower start coming back into the Chelsea side. I say slower start, but he's the reason we qualified for the Conference League. Two penalties there, really cru crucial to open the scorings in both games. So, yeah, I think in terms of him kind of fitting into open play, I think that will come with time. I've got no issues whatsoever or concerns about Nkunku, to be completely honest with you. There is enough players to be worried about um, than to be sit here, to sit here and be busy about worrying for Nkunku. I think in terms of starting, I think Pedro Neto probably earns a start because, again, it would be interesting to see, would you try something like playing Felix up top if you were Maresca in a game like this? Or would you start Jackson? Because Jackson needs building um, of his confidence. And if he's going to be the number nine that kind of sticks around to be the first choice of the season, then you probably need to give him the minutes. So yeah, I think, you know, you'll see Palmer, perhaps Pedro Neto, Nani Man's Wake out there on the right with Jackson up top. But again, it'll be interesting to see. But you look at our bench, eventually when Sancho's there as well, you'll have someone like a Sancho, you'll have someone like a Felix, you know, we've still got Midrick as well. So it's it's great to see that we've got these options, right? It's uh, it's good for depth. It's good to work things out. And hopefully when you do make substitutes, you're not taking the quality out of the game. But guys, I'm going to root for Chelsea to edge uh, over Crystal Palace in this one. I do think we'll concede. I'm sorry, not going to be negative Nancy here, but it's just the reality of the situation. Um, but hopefully we can kind of start this really good form at Sanford Bridge. This is the opportunity now to get our first Premier League win against Crystal Palace. Um, as in, yeah, at home, our first home win of the season. So, yeah, I hope that whoever's going is uh, going to be supportive. Please do be. Go If you're going, if you're heading that, if you're watching on telly and you're kind of talking to people on social media, yeah, please, again, be supportive. Let's get behind the team. It's now time to kind of return to Premier League action, focus on the league. But, yeah, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have done so, hit I, I meant to say hit and like at the same time. Hit that like button and subscribe to Chelsea Fan TV. Check out my personal channel, which is in, in I can't talk anymore. It's been a long video. It will be linked in the title of this video. So also check out my channel. Make sure you give FOCO a look as well. Pick out some cool things and use our discount code. But until next time, guys, thank you very much for watching and up the Chelsea.